Hello everyone and today the lecture is based on the most interesting molecule in our human body and that is DNA. So let's talk about DNA. In a human body how many cells are present? There are 3 into 10 this part 10 billion cells present in our body and each cell of our body contain nucleus. The nucleus it contains chromosomes and how many chromosomes are present in a human body? As you all know there are 46 chromosomes. These 46 chromosomes are made up of DNA which are packed with the proteins and these proteins are histone proteins. So what is this DNA? DNA is deoxyribonucleic acid is a polymer of nucleotides. So the nucleic acid, the first nucleic acid was discovered by scientist Frederick Miescher and the term nucleic acid was coined by Altman. So the Frederick Miescher was the scientist who discovered them in the pus cell and the scientist who coined the term nucleic acid was Altman. And this famous double helical structure of DNA was given by Watson and Crick. So let's deal with this DNA. Whatever we are, all the information is, is present inside this DNA. It carries the code for all the genetic information of our body. It regulates each and every activity which is taking place in our body. So DNA it is a famous double helical structure. The two strands of the DNA run opposite to each other. One strand run in 5 to 3 prime direction and other strand run in 3 to 5 prime direction. This property is called as antiparity. So the one strand run in 5 to 3 prime and the other strand run in 3 to 5 prime direction. Each double helical structure DNA is made up of polymer of nucleotides. It is called as a polynucleotide chain. The two strands are there. So it is a double helical structure. The nucleotide is actually made up of nucleoside plus phosphate. In turn, this nucleoside is made up of sugar, that is a pentose sugar. And as the name says, it is deoxyribonucleic acid. So the pentose sugar which is present is deoxyribon sugar. That is a 5 carbon containing compound. And at the 2 prime position, O is removed. That's why the term is deoxyribose. And it is made up of nitrogenous bases. The nitrogenous bases are of two types. One is purine and one is pyrimidine. Purine, as you say, the name is smaller, but the ring will be bigger. So it will be carrying six carbon and three chain. First, three, seven and nine. There will be nitrogen. There are two types of purine that is adenine and guanine. A for adenine, G for guanine. Pyrimidine, the name is big but the ring will be compact. So it will be only 6 carbon, 1 and 3 will contain the nitrogen and it contains cytosine and acid. There is a rule in this that is the total number of purines will be equal to total number of pyrimidines. The total number of purines is equal to total number of pyrimidines and this rule is called as the Cherkov rule. The bases are complementary to each other. Now what do you mean by complementary? If one strand will have the A, opposite to A there will be a hydrogen bonding with P and C will always hydrogen bond with G. It will be slightly stronger because it contains three hydrogen bond. In comparison to A and T which contain two hydrogen bonds. So A double bond T and C triple bond G. 
the two nucleotides are attached to each other by bond and what type of a bond it is it is a phosphodiester bond so who form the backbone of this double helical structure the backbone is made up of sugar and phosphate and in the center the nitrogenous bases of two halices are present this hydrogen bonding is responsible for its stability a will always bond with p c will always bond with g the two strands are separated from each other by a distance of 20 angstrom and each turn is of 34 angstrom and how many bases are present in each turn there are 10 bases so distance between the two nitrogenous base will be 3.4 angstrom h is called so double helical structure this double helical structure was proposed by scientist named watson and crick in 1953 actually they interpret the data of whom they interpret the data of rosal and franklin and muris wilkin and the technique which they used was x ray deflection the main work was done by who she said he okay the sugar and the phosphate backbone are present at the outside and the hydrogen bonding is present inside so it work was rosal and franklin and muris wilkins so the double helical structure model was given by watson and crick x ray diffraction was produced by rosal and franklin and muris wilkin dna is a double helical structure the two strands run opposite to each other that is called as anti parallel the two strands are complementary to each other a will always bond with p and c will always bond with g how many hydrogen bonds are present two hydrogen bonds in between a and t and three hydrogen bonds in between c and g so the two strands are attached to each other by hydrogen bonding and it is a polymer of nucleotides so those nucleotides are attached to each other by which bond it is phosphodiester bond the nucleotide is made up of nucleoside plus phosphate the nucleoside is made up of nitrogenous base plus sugar the sugar is deoxyribose it means at two prime position there will be only h deoxy removal of oxygen the two strands are separated from each other by 20 angstrom this is the diameter there are turns right handedly called dna only dna which is left handedly called as z dna each turn is of 34 angstrom in each turn there are 10 bases so distance between the two nitrogenous bases 3.4 angstrom now coming to the sibling of nucleic acid that sibling of nucleic acid is what rna so nucleic acid two type dna rna as the name suggest it is deoxyribonucleic acid and rna is ribonucleic acid ribonucleic acid contain the ribose sugar at the two prime position there will be oh So at two prime, OH is present. It was pentose sugar at which two prime position there will be absent of oxygen. So it is deoxyribose. Okay, the DNA is double helical structure while RNA is single stranded, and the nitrogenous base pyrimidine in in DNA it is thymine while in RNA it is uracil. Although the evolution was RNA was first in comparison to DNA, but it was not accepted as a genetic material because of the high rate of mutation. And incoming nucleotide will attach onto this, so it is the strand always run in five to three prime direction. The incoming nucleotide attach at five to three prime direction. so that's all in the next class we will see about the semi conservative mode of dna replication how a dna molecule 
forms the another DNA molecule and how this genetic information is conserved from one generation to another. Thank you for watching.